five thy father lies Of his bones are coral made Those were pearls that were his eyes Nothing of him that doth fade But doth suffer a sea change Into something rich and strange See nymphs how they ring his knell Hark now I hear them Ding dong bell Full Fathom 5, Thy Father Lies, is extracted from The Tempest, a William Shakespeare's play. This beautiful composition enlightens humans about the integrity they share with nature. The play opens in the midst of a storm which Prospero had created. The King of Naples, Ferdinand the Prince, along with the party struggle as the storm progresses. However, the ship sinks and all of them get separated. Ferdinand is brought to the shores by the current of the water and lies unconscious. When he awakens, he realizes that the shipwreck had dismantled the party and his father is nowhere to be seen. He becomes very sad. He is approached by Ariel the spirit, who tells him that his father had died in the shipwreck, though this was not true. Ariel sings to Ferdinand. Full fathom five, thy father lies, of his bones a coral made. Ariel tells that his father lies thirty feet below in the sea bed, and his bones have turned into beautiful corals. Those were pearls that were his eyes, nothing of him that doth fade. His eyes have transformed into pearls, and no part of his body has become futile. Time is forever eternal that grants the beings of nature eternity. But death suffer a sea change into something rich and strange. Ariel tells that death is the doorway to eternity and is perhaps inevitable. We merely shed this mortal shell and embrace the beauty of liberation. The king's body has now undergone several sea changes which has granted him a return to nature as strange and precious objects. Sea nymphs hourly ring his knell, hark now I hear them ding dong bell. The sea nymphs were ringing bells to welcome the death of the king as he now behold it the divinity of eternity. The king's body has freshly been transfigured into precious and beautiful objects that are cherished by the nature. His father has reached the land of gods and nymphs, and they sing of human tragedies without participating in them. Hence, nothing in nature goes to waste and life is eternal. The poem thus portrays the interdependency of biological beings with each other, how one form of nature gets transformed into another, and the cycle of survival and continuity prospers. Hence, the poem is assisted to explain the interdependency of natural beings through the phenomenon of sea change, the changing of eyes into the change of bones into corals signify the vitality of natural change in cycles. Hence, a living body never suffers futility after its death. It is eternal.